But anyways, I got off the phone with one of my best friends, and she was telling me about this guy. She was uh, one of her ex-boyfriends, how she thought she could really be, like, dependent upon him, and he kept on standing her up. Like, I feel like, well, she always makes it, like, the importance of it, like, how if a guy stands her up, she'll cut her, cut him completely out of her life. And I mean, I guess that's understandable, but it just, it made me think about <laughs> the time when my boyfriend and I, when we were just like starting off and we were just talking and he thought I had stood him up. So as you guys know, or if you didn't know, I was, I went to Hofstra University, which is in Long Island, New York. And for adult, for those who know New York and Long Island, Long Island is very boring. And where Hofstra is, it was just basically the hood. They always they always do that, having good 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 schools in the hood. Like I feel like every good school that I have visited has been in a bad area. I don't know why, but it's like that. Anyways, so I was supposed to be meeting my boyfriend at Franklin Avenue. But instead, I shouldn't even tell them that I was going to be meeting you at Franklin Avenue. Why not? See what this is about. Hold on. You going to cut this part out. Right? Okay, so I was supposed to be meeting my boyfriend at Franklin Avenue. And so, for like, if y'all don't know, catching the train from Long Island to get into the city or to get into any type of borough is... It just takes a long time because at Hofstra, we had to wait for the shuttle bus. The shuttle bus ran probably like every 45 minutes to drop us off at the train station. And then the train probably didn't come until like the next 15 to 20 minutes after. And that train ride would probably be about 30 minutes. So all of that together, it probably took about an hour and a half to even reach Manhattan. And so I think I left probably... I know I left before the sun went down, so I'm going to say I left, like, around, like, 3 o'clock-ish. And I was drinking earlier that day, you know, on campus, college life, yada, yada, yada. You mingling. So, I was drinking, and then I went to go meet my boyfriend at Franklin Avenue. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling confident about the trains because he told me which train to catch, where to go, and how to get there. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? I could do this. I used to be like completely scared on catching the trains, not knowing how to get from point A to point Z. And even there was a time where even like I felt confident in getting somewhere and I was completely going the wrong way. It was just a disaster. I would be the type that would just think to get off the train, leave the train station and then think about where I have to go. Wasting a whole swipe, having to re-swipe again just to figure out where I'm going. It was a mess. But anyways, so I'm getting on the shuttle. I am have my bag packed. My phone was charged, or at least to what it was supposed to be. And I'm going to the Long Island Railroad Station. And so I purchased my ticket, which was so annoying. I hated going back and forth from Brooklyn or the city into Long Island because it was just so expensive. I think, like, well, when I used to catch it, the fare was, I think, $8. I don't know if it's gone up then, but anyways, I got my Long Island Railroad ticket. I got on the railroad, and I'm going to Penn Station. And I'm like, okay, I, I feel confident with this. Even though it was mad crowded in Penn Station like usual, I'm feeling confident. I think I hopped on maybe, like, the one train or the three train. I am not sure, but... I get off at Franklin, right? And so I'm texting my boyfriend. I'm like, oh, I'm here. Let me know when you reach. This is in the third. I'm by the booth. And so I'm sitting there. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So by all of that time of me actually getting there, it was probably like maybe 5 o'clock, 5.30ish. And so I started sitting there for at least a good like 20, 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, maybe it's taking him a long time. Maybe the trains are messed up. And so I'm texting him, like, yo, where are you? Like, I've been sitting here for mad long. I have to go to the bathroom. It's getting late. Like, where are you? And so he's texting me. He was like, I'm here. I'm at Franklin. And I'm like, no, you're not. I'm at the booth. I'm at Franklin. Clearly, it says Franklin on the wall. That's why I got off. They announced it was Franklin. I'm at Franklin. Where are you? He was like, nah, are you at Franklin Avenue? So 
myself. I looked at the train station, the walls where it says the like the stop where you're at. I'm at Franklin at well Franklin Street when I'm supposed to be at Franklin Avenue. So I'm still all the way in Manhattan, and he's in Brooklyn at Franklin Avenue. So he's telling me that well before he even realized that I was at Franklin Street instead of Franklin Avenue. If you guys know or if you don't know, there's a shuttle at Franklin Avenue that brings you to different, there's two parts of Franklin Avenue, and the shuttle brings you to each part of it. So he's thinking that I'm at one part and he's at the other, so he'll catch the shuttle to this part, and he'll see I'm not at that part, so he'll go back to the other part. He said he did that, like, how many times did you say you did that? Two more times. Like, at least, what, two or three? Or? I mean, like, four. Four times? That's a lot. <laughs> so he said he cut he cut the shuttle bus to Franklin Avenue, the two different section parts of it, four times. And if y'all know, the shuttle bus runs very slowly. So you must have loved me already before. You 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 really did love me then, right? Clearly, right? Mm-hmm. Caught that shuttle bus four times. So, anyways, he caught the shuttle bus four times to try and find where I was. And I'm sitting there all high and mighty on my throne like, nigga, where are you? I'm at Franklin Avenue, whatever it is, Franklin Street. I'm here. But, so, anyways, he's looking for me constantly. He's looking for me constantly. He's blowing up my phone. I'm blowing up his phone. He tries to FaceTime me to see exactly where I am so he doesn't have to keep ripping running around on the shuttle. And, of course, it doesn't go through because we're underground. And so I get, like, I stop getting service for a second. Then I don't know where I get service. And I see this long text message. He was like, hey, you got me searching around on these trains. Like, like I'm a fool. Um, lose my number, you clown. I'm, I'm just, you playing with me. You acting like, you acting like I'm supposed to be looking for you. Whatever it was. He was just telling me that. He wanted to drop me because he felt like I was standing him up and playing games on him while he was ripping and running on trains trying to find me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, at that point, I was so frustrated because it's late. I'm far from Long Island. My phone's about to die. I'm asking the lady in the booth if I could charge my phone, like, in the booth with her. And I'm sitting here waiting for him. And so he finally calls me, like, and I have service while I'm standing outside of the booth. Because, obviously, I'm closer towards being um, from underground. And so, he calls me. I answer the phone. And he was like, yo. He was like, literally, where are you? Because after he sent that nasty text message, I was like, oh, my gosh. This boy, like, he has me so frustrated. I'm like, I'm in the middle of nowhere. And I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know how I got there. So, how am I supposed to find my way back to Penn Station to get back to the Long Island Railroad? So, after he sent that text message, I'm like, ah. Look, I'm lost. I don't know where I am, clearly. Don't think I'm playing with you because I'm not. I'm I'm trying to find you. You told me to get off at Franklin. I thought I got off at Franklin. Obviously, I'm at Franklin Street instead of Franklin Avenue. It's a big difference. So he ended up calling me, like I said. And, he, yeah, so he ended up coming from Brooklyn, Franklin Avenue in Brooklyn, to Franklin Street in Manhattan. And... It, after that, it was just, like, the rest is history, obviously. But I just thought that was really funny how my best friend, she was talking about how she cuts people out of her life when they stand them up or when they stand her up and how my boyfriend was trying to cut me out, trying to cut me out by thinking I was standing him up, but it didn't happen. Let me know if y'all ever had, like, any type of situations where y'all got stood up or you were standing somebody else up or whatever it was. Let me know. I wanna smash E, so I gotta move the atoms Not the humans, molecules, insufficient atoms Strawberry shortcake batter is in the matter Got the fever with 16 as I got sick habits Martin with Pam Gina, I smash your best actress Fight with a best friend and still keep it macking Bad girl, please understand this I'm deep in the game, so they call me Young Stan Smith